Hey guys, welcome back. It's sunny today and it's good weather, but it wasn't good weather the other day. Unfortunately, the lightning strike down and it hit a couple of things here, so I need to work on that. First of all, my robot lawnmower is not working anymore. It actually destroyed the charging station for this. Another thing that is killed is also my Eastern SDM 6CD energy meter here that I have been using for my system. It's totally dead and do not want to wake up as it is right now. We have the device here and to start to investigate what's going on we need to open this up. Currently when I power this up nothing happened and it's dead. So basically here we have the unit. Uh, it's two parts. It's a big AC-DC adapter. And then we have this little board here. The AC-DC adapter gives up 34 volt, roughly 4 amps. So we need to check this one out. But before that we will start with the PCB itself. And by checking this out, you might be able to see that that circuit there seemed to be blown and that's basically what I can see the back side looks okay as well I'm not 100% of the function of that one but we need to measure it up but first let's start with this adapter and see if we have any current going out of it and there is nothing out so basically this AC-DC adapter seems to be blown so let's start with pick that apart as well so we basically have the adapter here and no output and it seems like we have a 5 amp fuse down there so let's see if we can measure that one up um, and we can get anything out of it if I'm not mistaken that's between that rail and that rail and there's nothing there so I guess that fuse is blown so let's start by removing that one I found another fuse it's a lot bigger than this one in size um, I think it was like 6 amp instead of 5 doesn't really matter in this case, I'm going for testing it. Uh, so let's hook this up and see what happens. The cable is loose of course. And we add it up here. Note that when as soon as I put this in and it goes power in here, the condensators or the capacitors will actually charge up. So do not touch this afterwards. This is dangerous. It doesn't seem to want to start, it's actually beeping. So I'm guessing there is something else wrong with it. So basically we have this unit here and it's scrapped. Um, I don't have the competence to do any more error searching. If so I need to pick it apart to find what the faulty components are. I'm guessing it can be some of the switching transistors or even the circuitry here that is faulty, I don't know. It's a little bit brown. It seems like that component there is burned as well. Um, brown there. So I'm going to leave this. Uh, this on the other hand I could might have been actually to get working again uh, if it's only that transistor there. But I'm going to buy, buy myself a new unit. Unfortunately that's around 200 euro so it's not cheap and that hurts a lot because that money was planned for go to the solar system instead so not much of a video 
<laughs> not much of a repair. So once again guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.